I'm going to show you how to work with the multiplication chart one. Please watch. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with multiplication chart one. But before we begin, let's have a review on the parts of the multiplication number sentence. Let's say, for example, I have an equation. 5 times 10 equals 50. 5 here is the multiplicand. Multiplicand is the number you are going to take. This is how you write multiplicand. Ten is our multiplier. It's the number that tells us how many times we are going to take a number. This is how you write multiplier. Five times ten is equal to fifty. 50 here is our answer. We call this the product. This is how you write product. Again, for this work, we are going to look for the missing multiplier. Let's begin. We have 2 times blank equals 16. We have our multiplicand 2 and our product 16. It's here. Our missing multiplier is 8. Let's write that down. We have... 4 times blank equals 8. 4 is our multiplicand and 8 is our product. So it's here. Our missing multiplier is 2. times blank equals 42. 6 is our multiplicand and 42 is our product. Seven is our missing multiplier. Three times blank equals 27. Three is our multiplicand and 27 is our product. It's here. Nine is our missing multiplier. Nine times blank equals forty-five. Nine is our multiplicand and forty-five is our product. Our missing multiplier is 5. 5. Let's read our answers. 2 times 8 equals 16. 4 times 2 equals 8. 6 times 7 equals 42. 3 times 9 equals 27. 9 times 5 equals 45. Now that I've shown you how to work with this chart, you may do this on your own.